everybody welcome back to my channel my name is Jess today I have a get ready with me some new stuff uh, some stuff that's not really new to market but it's new to me I will be playing around with it I really just want to sit down and play around with some makeup don't mind the shelves there I tell my fiance's honey to do a list they have to go up here <laughs> So yeah, um, hang tight, enjoy the video. If you like this, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, it would help me out a ton. And let's get into it. All right, I think I'm gonna start off with this. I finally manned up and got a MAC Painterly Pot. So I always used concealer to prime my lids. Oh. I always wondered why do people go out and spend all their money on MAC Painterly Pots? Okay. I see why. I like this. Cancels out everything. That's, that's great. I do like it with this brush. This is a BH Cosmetics uh, Studio Pro number 14. I got these about a month ago and I like them a lot. At least I like this one yeah all right so I recently picked up this elf um, the elf summer breeze palette really nice I've used this once before and I really really like the formula it's awesome so we're gonna we're gonna put that on our eyeballs today I'm gonna set the lid I got my elf blending brush my go-to I take this vanilla color right here Set the eyeballs. All right, my uh, Morphe M504. Love this blending brush. Ooh, over here. Don't mind my cut on my finger. I was um, weeding the other day. Yay. Yeah, weeding the yard. These blend out really nice, like real soft. They're a little powdery in the pan, but nothing big. And I'm doing my eyes first today, so we don't want any fallout. Why? Because then it gets under here and it just darkens it and it makes you look older than what you are. And I ain't trying to do that. Okay, my Morphe M441. Uh, this is a blending brush, a little smaller than the first one. I'm gonna go in with this like kind of like purpley kind of color. Who knows what it's called? I don't, I don't know. No names on these shadows. I can't believe for 10 bucks, 10 bucks this palette is. And the shadows blend out so nice. All right, uh, my Coastal BR250. We're gonna go in with this cool bright purple color outer and into the crease I'll go up a little high with that now this palette does not have a shimmer at all these are all matte so, going to grab my BH Cosmetics Zodiac palette. Oh my God, the shimmers in this palette are stunning. Beautiful. Like, beautiful. Like the baked ones. Like, let me give you a couple swatches here Aries, Taurus, Gemini. Whoa, <laughs> look at that. Mm. 
Look at that. Holy crap. Like, what the hell? I gotta do something with that green. This brush, I came in one of my Naked Palettes. And... Ooh, Libra or Leo? Ooh, look at Libra or Leo. They're both kind of like pinky. I got a little pinky purpley vibe. You know what? Let's go with Libra. Uh, and we'll keep that. Ooh, we'll keep that close to the purple. Oh my God. Wow, that's a beautiful color. Oh, we're going to just keep going with this color. Let's try using my finger, see if it pops up more. Whoa, that's nice. I like that. I am going to take a little bit of Leo. Put that closer to the inner corner. Mm, it just brightens it up. Oh, where's my brush? Oh, here it is. I got it. This is my Luxie 231 blot, uh, brush. This is a small taper blending brush. Now that I'm in my 40s, my eyes are definitely my problem spot. And what I like to do, instead of going just in the inner corner here to highlight, what I like to do is I like to kind of go all up in here and it just, it just seems to just brighten it up a little bit. It looks nice. Just a little bit, nothing like crazy. And there is a black in here. I've never used this. I do want to just darken up the corner just ever so slightly. See? That's it. Just a little, just a little hint of something. Let's go back to our Morphe M504 and yes, pinky color. I feel like this just needs to be brightened up a little bit in here. I'm gonna blend up the harsh lines too. I use my e.l.f. blending brush again. that light color there. Let's brighten it up a little up here. I'm gonna go to the face now. Right, as far as primer is concerned, I've been really digging this e.l.f. Pro Glow Lotion. Uh, so I think it's like six bucks at Walmart. Um, this works really good. People were comparing it to the uh, Becca, the backlight. I don't think, I mean, it, it's along the same lines. It's a glowy primer, but this is more glowier, if that makes any sense. Oh, wow, this is a well-loved look. It's already like down in here. Nice. Yeah, the e.l.f. one, it's just, it's not, once it gets on your skin, it's not as glowy. Where's, where's, where's my brush? This is my It Cosmetics number 77 brush. I like this for my primer. I just feel like it just gets it in every like nook and cranny. And it's angled, so I guess like around your brows. I put work into these brows every day and I don't want them messed up. Which I have a new brow product that I'm going to review. I'm very excited about. Now that'll, that'll be coming. I am going to use the Physicians Formula, the Healthy Foundation. Now I bought this, well, I bought the original one months and months ago and I went to use it and it was way too dark. Um, just the undertone was horrible. It was so hard to pick out a shade of this because the shade selection is so shitty. Like it's shitty, real shitty. Like I, I can usually find my shade. I had to return that one. This is a second one. This is so light. This is LN4. This is so light for me right now. 
It's because it's summertime, but which leads me into my next um, new thing is this Catrice. This is makeup transformation. Oh, I'm sorry, makeup transformer drops, and this is the darkening shade. So I'm going to put this in my foundation and darken it up so maybe I can use it. I've used this once before and it worked out really, really well. So I'm hoping it works today because I really do want to wear this. Wow, this is a this is a pain. I have to like <laughs> get it out a little at a time because this this applicator is ridiculous. Like not for nothing. You're gonna do this, put a pump on it. Just put a pump on it. All right. This does come in a white version uh, to make your darker foundations light. I think this is such a great idea because like when summer comes and everybody gets a little darker, like what the hell? You can't go out and buy an all new foundation. All right, I'm just gonna put a tiny tiny little drop in there. All right. I shade mess it up good too. You don't want to be putting it on all streaky and stuff. I gotta say. Ooh. It's not gonna be in the right undertone. It looks kind of gray, doesn't it? Hmm. All right, we're just gonna go for it and pray for the best. All right, foundation brush. We're gonna use our Sigma F80. Oh, that's light, girl. Damn. Oh, <laughs> that's real light. feels really nice. I only used it one time and it did feel really good. I'm just going to try and make this work. Um, I said light coverage. But it's a nice light coverage. I can definitely see it being too light coverage with a beauty blender, but it's working great with the um, with the brush. I'm gonna read the claims on this. Hold on. It says an SPF 20 in it. it. Says provides lightweight, medium to full coverage with a healthy finish. Features physicians formula, exclusive brightening complex, and hyaluronic acid to hydrate, brighten, and improve the appearance of skin tone. Added boost of vitamins A, C, and E provide a flawless, healthy coverage. Hmm. Interesting. Medium to full, huh? Mm, I'm thinking it's like. Oh, I'm going to add one more drop. It's a little bit better. <sighs> what is that smell? I know it. That's a little bit better. It definitely is has some grayness to it. I don't. I don't even understand what the grayness would be from. Hmm. I wish I could find the right damn shade. I don't want to keep buying it. It's like 15, 16 bucks. All right. Yeah, I totally, I don't know if you could see it. I definitely feel like I look gray. Look at, wow, look at my freckles. Holy shit. Uh, yeah. All right. We're going to have to use some bronzer with this. this is our <laughs> oh, well, you live and you learn. The color's a little wrong, but what are you going to do? I think I might like this in the winter. It feels feels good on the skin. It looks really good. Like it looks nice. For concealer, I'm gonna use this Flower Beauty. It looks a little light. We'll say this is um, LN34 light. I should just get the. Uh, I want to try their foundation. Oh. 
right? That is how much concealer. That's actually a, a real lot for me. I'm gonna be honest, but I usually use, well, it's not shape tape either, so. I always use a beauty blender for my concealer. Oh, that's actually really nice. Very light, it's, it's lightweight. Definitely lightweight, but it covers. Covers nice. That's actually not a not a bad um, not a bad shade for me. Holy bag! Look at this bag today. It's crazy. Whoops. Throw whatever on my sponge up on my forehead right there. That blended out nice. I like that. Look at this thing. I used to think it was allergies, but apparently it's hereditary because my mama has it. I really want it to go away. Look, if I go like this, it, the bag kind of goes away. <laughs> Ridiculous. All right. Well, I don't have any new powder, but I do have my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Powder, and this is the darkest powder that I have. So, you know what? I'm going to use this for the, to set the face. Under the eye, good old, sorry. <laughs> for the under eye, good old trusty essence. All about matte fixing powder. I love this stuff. It's very, very lightweight. Um... Yeah, it's so cheap. It's so cheap. I really thought this was going to be a product that I hit pan on, but I never have because this thing that closes it, it keeps on breaking. This is the third one I've bought so far. It keeps breaking, but I love the product. Like it just just makes your under eyes look real real nice. Um, uh, usually I feel like I have to set more, but with this foundation, I kind of don't. I usually set around here with this powder too. In the summer I get oily, in the winter I get dry. Alright. Oh, and that was an, an e.l.f. blush brush. Fits perfectly under your eyeballs. I'm going to take my Sony Kashuk brush. And set the rest. Okay, we're gonna stop with the skin for a moment and we're going to finish up the eyes. So I'm going back into my e.l.f. palette. I'm gonna grab this pretty rosy color right here. This is a Vasanti Contour Eyeshadow Number 4 brush. This came in an Ipsy. I love this brush. Take my Morphe E36. We're gonna go that that bright purple sh uh, shadow right there, right just on the outside. We're not gonna take this all the way, all the way to the inner corner, just the outside. I am gonna do a wing on the top. Gonna use my It Cosmetics. This is waterproof. I got mine in black. Super black. I'm just gonna try to attempt to do this on camera. I do enjoy this eyeliner. Alright, now. Since I've hit a certain age, I gotta do my wing slightly higher. Usually people like start like down here. I'm gonna go up here. Why? Oh, it's this little thing called wrinkles. Crow's feet, you know, you know. I'm working on it though. This color really makes my eyes pop. Take my Milani, 
This is well loved. I love this eyeliner. I don't even know the whole name at this point. It's so busted up. Yeah, it's waterproof. This is like brownish black, which I do like going in with like a browner color on my waterline. Definitely gonna do this. Uh, it almost scares me. Gotta curl the lashes though. All right, so I always go in with a lash primer. I have pretty um, decently thick eyelashes. So when I'm not doing falsies, cause I don't feel like it today, I always go in with a primer. This one is from Lancome. This is just a little, little sample guy I got. I have this CoverGirl Total Tease Waterproof Mascara in black. I'm just trying to use it up, really. It does work good. I, I don't know why um, I don't really care for it. I don't know. I mean, it's just, it doesn't excite me. I can't, I'm not gonna go and buy a new one. Oh, God, I hate that. We're, we're going to let that dry. We're going to ignore it for the moment. We're going to let it dry and we're going to come back to it. Always. So this bronzer, um, this particular color is new. This is in deep bronze. I have the middle shade, which is just called bronze, but I did pick up the deeper shade just to see what it's like. And because I need to bronze up pretty harshly right now, we're gonna use deep. It does smell really good. I'm taking my Sigma, this is the uh, F15 Duo Fiber Powder Slash Blush Brush. I picked this up um, in the set. I love this woman. She has a YouTube channel. Her name is Taylor, the Talia, I think. That's how you say it. The Taylor, that Taylor, that Taylor. That sounds pretty right. Yeah, she had the Sigma. She put her favorites together in one box. It came with uh, this one. It came with the F80, the flat top, and it also came with, where is she? Where is she? Yo, what the? Oh, the highlighting brush. Uh, this is the F, what, three? Yes, high cheekbone highlighter. Let me tell you some. These were my first Sigma brushes, and this is a beautiful brush. They're so well built. Just, I don't know. I just, I, I love them. Absolutely love them. Like I definitely want to order more Sigma brushes, but right now they're just a little too expensive for me. I do like this to just sharpen up the bronzer. I usually contour, but I'm a little lazy today. That's fine. Absolutely fine. just makeup there's no real rules here I'm gonna go in with a little fluffier brush pretty sure this is a crown brush I got this in an Ipsy a while ago too C435 large contour brush I've had this forever this is nice I like this bronzer I really like the color and of course, you know, physician's formula, so they're known for their bronzers. It's a little bit better, right? Okay. What are we gonna do? 
got this this morphe blush here uh this is in pop of blush this is one of the trios that came out wow mine's just breaking a little in there yeah mine's mine's definitely breaking there a little bit you see it really pretty colors sorry let's cover the mirror up really pretty colors i kind of like just to i like to go in with all three This is a Sony Kashuk brush. This came in the set with the powder brush. This a, wow, this is a really pretty. I have used this once before, sorry. Just, just, it's just pretty. And like the shimmery color, it just, just adds a little something. That's nice though, I like that. I did see these new CoverGirl highlighters right here. Pretty nice. This one's kind of just, I don't know, it's kind of powdery. Can you see that? Let's see, let's swatch these two. Mm, sorry, my lighting is horrible. And by lighting, I mean the sunlight. That's all I got. So let's take our Morphe. This is my favorite. What is this, the 501? And 501. I'm just gonna take these two shades here because this one don't look like it does anything. Oh, that's powdery. Ooh, that's real powdery. Wow. I just had to I just had to tap that off over the garbage can. Alright. Hmm. Hmm, that is pretty um intense. But it's just oh my god, I gotta do that over the garbage can. Ooh, hmm. Uh, I definitely feel like it kind of shows my texture. I don't know if you could tell. Well, maybe. You know, it's just. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I'm just going to blend that out. Yeah. That's, that's kind of nice. That's kind of nice. All right. Whatever. Whatever. So I did pick up these new Maybelline lipsticks. Um, what's the color sensational? They're like the real glossy ones. I got this one in 75 undress pink. I usually stick to very basic kind of colors. This is kind of bright for me. I'm not even gonna lie. Let's see. Oh, oh, wow, what am I gonna do with that? Yeah, I mean, it's a pretty color, but uh, I'm scared. Oh, they feel really nice. Oh, they feel like, kinda like gel-like. I think these are the ones that I heard somebody say, I reminded them of the, the new Marc Jacobs ones. I forget the name of them. This is cute though. You know what? I can get away with it because of the eyeshadow. It kind of goes with the eyeshadow. It's nice. I love how it feels. Wow. Awesome. All right, let's spray and wrap, wrap this up here, kids. Take my Max Fix Plus. I don't have a new spray. the makeup to blend very nicely all right I really you know what I really like this foundation it looks really nice on like don't look at this just look at the foundation I think it looks really nice and the eyeshadow this color is just 
making my green eyes pop here. I like it. Uh, hopefully I will be coming with a eyebrow tutorial for all the uh, redheads and blondes that don't have any eyebrows like myself. We have to draw them on. Yeah, I'm testing out a new eyebrow product and I really like it. Like, I really like it. Once I get my technique down, I will make a video. But yeah, thanks for hanging out with me. Um, if you like videos like this, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, I really appreciate it. it would help me out. And yeah, definitely gonna have another one of these videos. I love sitting down and just playing around with makeup, you know. Anyway, you guys have a great day. Take it easy.